Hey there, this is a video on computing integrals using area formulas, um, which is a standard way that we kind of talk about definite integrals. Um, so I won't be using any integration formulas, just FYI in this video. So let's just jump right into it. So if f of x is non-negative and integrable over a closed interval, then the area of the curve is really found by the definite integral. So that's like something that you can count on. So here's like a picture of it. So basically, if you have some closed interval from a to b, if you, and your, your function has to be above the x-axis, then if you find the definite integral of this, then you have found the area of that region. Now, just a quick kind of other question with this. So what if f of x is negative, but you still want to find the area? So this kind of comes up from time to time. So let's say that I have a function maybe that looks like this, and so I want to find these two different areas. So technically what you could do is you could actually break these up. So this is just a general, just quick overview of this. So what you could do is you could really find um, these two areas. Now what would happen is when you find this area, it would probably come out negative and then you would just have to subtract it. So the way that that calculation would look, just I would take, so going from C to B, I would find this area and then I would subtract off this other one. And then you could find just, if you're trying to get the true, like total area between these two shapes. So just a little caveat on that. But in this video, I'm actually just going to look at the non-negative ones, but I, I wanted to mention that because sometimes people get thrown off. So I'm assuming at this point that you maybe don't know how to calculate a definite integral. And one of the big things that we really try to emphasize in calculus is that this really is a way of finding area. So the best way to kind of drive that home is by then forcing you to sketch curves so that you can really see this. So let's go ahead and sketch this out. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just draw this out. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so here's my curve. Okay, so I want to find this this um here, here's kind of my curve and i need to go from negative one to one okay so i'm going to go ahead and mark that off so here's the area that i'm actually trying to find so the area between negative one to one so how do i do that so when you sketch the curves if you if you're not allowed to use typical um, integration formulas then having the picture in front of you will really make or break you so I see actually two different shapes here um, between the two green lines. So for one shape, I've got this like kind of rectangle down here. There's one. So I can find the area of that. And then the other one would be this triangular shape. So then you just kind of have to use your knowledge of, of geometry to figure that out. So if I'm trying to find the area of this rectangle, so it looks like this is what, two by, I think this is two by two. So this area is two by two, so this is four. And then the area of the triangle, so that's gonna be one half. So let's see, the width of it is, the base is two and the height in this case would be one. So this just equals one. So then the value of this particular integral will be, um, I take four plus one, so this would equal five. So that would be the value of that particular integral. So that's kind of the idea behind this. So I wanna give you the chance just to practice this. So I have two other problems for you to check out. Highly recommend you sketch the, the actual situation and then find the area, hit play when you're ready to see the solution. So for this first one, so let's see, actually I'll use the, the white color. Um, okay, so I need to sketch this out. Let's see, one, two, three. So I've got zero, zero, I'll go up two over one. I'll go up two over one, and then I'll go up two over one. Okay, so here's my situation. And I only need this from zero to three. So I'm really going from here to here, right? So it's this is really just a triangle. So this is like a very simple one to, to figure out. So in this case, let's see, I go up one, two, three, four, five, six. So to figure out the area of this triangle, so I'll just take my one half 
base times height. That's all I have to use here. So that's 1 half 3 times 6. So let's see, that'll give me what, just 9? So that would be 9 units, I guess if I wanted to do that, 9 units squared. That would be that would be the answer. So the answer to this is that it is 9. So this is always a fallback or a really great way to double check your integrals if, if you have like a known area formula. So there's lots of ones, like for instance, if I look at this graph here, I do not have a nice area formula to figure this out. Um, but if you do have a situation like these last two where we can actually kind of divide it up into shapes and figure it out, then you can do that. So here's one more example for you if you want to try that one more time. Once again, sketch the region and then determine the area. Hit play when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, so in this case, so let's see, I've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five. That's as high as I need to go. So let's see, I got a y-intercept of 1, I'll go up 2 over 1, I'll go up 2 over 1, so here's my shape. So now, in this case, I want to find the area from here to here. So now I've got this whole shape, so once again I'm going to have to divide this into pieces. So to do that, I'll have this piece here, so I can just find the area of that. So that area, let's see, this is what, 2 times 1? So 2 times 1 is the area there, and that equals 2, not 1. I swear I can do math. And then for the other one, um, okay, so now i got to get this triangle. So if I'm trying to get that, that's going to be 1 half. Let's see, the base in this case is 2, and then it looks like the height is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the height is 4, so this will ultimately equal 4. So then the value of this definite integral is 2 plus 4, so that equals 6. So that's kind of the idea behind trying to compute integrals um, with using area formulas. So it does have to be a little bit like gamed so that it's something you can actually find the area of. Like I said, if you have some, some wildly crazy region like this, then you're not going to be able to do it. Um, you're definitely going to have uh, simpler integrals. So that'll cover this video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.